Hi yogis, Carlene Rose here and welcome to a Nerdy Yogi YouTube channel. Today we will be doing a balancing flow. So start by just grounding firmly into the earth here. We're going to start in a mountain pose. Um, you can kind of gently walk back and forth, find a comfortable position for your feet. Don't really need to worry about facing our toes in any certain direction. Just want to have a comfortable position on the earth, keeping toes and knees in line with each other, in line with your hip bones. So however that comfortable position or that comfortable stance is for you, Really ground into the earth here. Think about pressing down into the earth and lifting up, feeling a wave all the way up through your spine, out through the crown of your head to come standing tall here on your mat for that mountain, uh, mountain pose. And extend your fingertips long towards the floor. Starting to activate our muscles here, just finding that strength and standing tall. So when we're doing our balance positions, you really want to think about that same kind of movement. So we'll be balancing with, um, mostly with one foot. So <laughs> balancing, really pressing into the earth with the one leg. Think about your foot kind of like a triangle. You've got the ball of your, your big toe, little toe, and your heel. Really think about that grounding into the earth and pressing away from the earth with that strength, lifting all of that up, all the way through the crown of your head. And that's where you're gonna find that strong balance position. From here we're just going to start activating our breath so you can place your hands on your belly and um, kind of feel the breath movement so you're going to inhale expanding your belly in all directions and exhale squeezing everything in and up so we're going to inhale again your pelvic floor pelvic diaphragm everything expands open and then exhale squeezing that all in and squeezing it out exhaling through the nose inhale here Exhale. This time as you inhale, I want you to reach up and exhale, fold yourself forward. So coming into a forward fold, really bent knees here. We're obviously not very warmed up yet, so don't want to stretch too fast too soon. You can gently wave back and forth. Feeling the backs of your legs starting to open. And then from here, bending your knees even more, grounding into the earth again with that um, trifecta on your foot, reconstituting that balance. So you're going to inhale here, prepare, exhale, press into the earth, let that force roll you back up all the way to stand. Inhale tall and exhale. All right, so our first Balance challenge is going to be a simple tree pose, so nothing too crazy. I want you to really ground into the earth here with your right foot. So kind of the same grounding motion we did with mountain, but now it's all on the right uh, leg. So you're going to ground into the earth, lifting up, let that lift up your left leg. And then you can come into tree either with your um, left foot at the ankle, just below the knee, or above the knee somewhere. Find whatever comfortable position for you. You can have your hands here at heart center in Namaste or Anjali Mudra. And see if you can just hold that balance for a few breaths. And you may waver, you may wobble a little, whatever, that's totally fine. The whole point is to, you know, keep doing it. Keep coming into it and keep progressing in this balance. And from here, after you've held it a couple of breaths, gently release that back to the earth, grounding the left foot this time, really strongly planted into the earth, lifting up, get that wave all the way up through the crown of your head. And again, right foot could come to the ankle, just below the knee, just above the knee. You can use your hand to uh, move it a little bit higher since we're not super warm. You might need the assistance of your hands. And holding this side for a few more breaths. So using that breath here, of course, so inhaling, um, pelvic floor and diaphragm expand, widen all directions, and exhale, squeeze in and out everything, kind of like a tube of toothpaste, so you squeeze it from the bottom, you squeeze it all the way up to the top, basically what we're doing with our breath. Your exhale here, gently release that, inhale, arms extend above, exhale, forward fold again. 
This time you might notice your leg can move a little bit straighter now that we're starting to warm them up a little. You can gently wave back and forth. You can bend one knee and then the other to get a little bit deeper stretch on one side. And planting your feet back into the earth, really grounding strong. Bend your knees here, inhale, prepare. Exhale, waving in and up. Inhale at the top, exhale, hands come to heart center. Now we're gonna take our legs out wide. So coming into a wider stance now, we're going to be doing a little bit more active movement. So you wanna try not to lose your balance while we're being active, um, moving back and forth. Take your knees in line with your toes. So we've got a temple pose or a horse stance as it is in martial arts. You can start here with your hands in heart center, just finding that kind of centered position with your hips, gently rocking back and forth, grounding strongly with your feet into the earth. From here, just gonna rock side to side. So extending one leg strong or longer and take your left arm, we'll add a stretch movement. So left arm extends overhead as you lean towards the right, just opens up as you lean towards the left and extends long across, stretching out your shoulders and back to center. Do that motion a little bit faster. A couple more times on this side. Again, challenging our balance with this movement and getting a nice side body and shoulder stretch. And last time here, you're gonna hold this way, come up off of your back heel, so fun, funky transition. So now we're in a bit of a high lunge here. Left arm is extending overhead. Reach your right arm long behind you, really ground to the earth, long spine. Now for another fun balance challenge, lean yourself forward just a little bit, really grounding into the earth with that right foot. Inhale here, prepare and exhale, lift you up. And you'll switch arms. So left arm is now extending long, right arm is extending towards the sky. And you'll inhale, step back. You don't have to step back quite as far. Inhale here, exhale, lifts you up. Really think about lifting that left leg from your deep core. So um, the muscles right along your spine. Inhale here, exhale. And last one, inhale steps you back. Exhale lifts you forward. Now from here, both arms are gonna reach behind you slightly. So take this challenge as you want. You can fit, put your hands on the wall or the floor where you can start bending yourself forward at the hips. Left leg is starting to extend long. You can press out through your heels so like you're standing against a wall with that left leg. See if you can hold this for just one more moment. And exhale, fingertips plant onto the earth. Wave your spine tall. Exhale, coming into a forward fold splits. So left leg is lifting to that first edge of stretch. Awesome. Bending that right knee, stepping your left foot back and coming to a forward fold again here. A little bit deeper forward fold on this right leg now. And walk yourself back to center. Toes are facing forward and come into a wide leg forward fold. Awesome. From here, toes are going to point at that angle again, getting them in line with your knees. Inhale here, prepare, exhale, rolling yourself in and up. Hands come to heart center in that namaste mudra. And this time we'll be moving towards the left. So start by just extending one leg long and then the other, going from one side to the other. And then real slow to start, remember, right arm is going to extend overhead as we bend the left leg. Reach as long as we go back to the right and reaches across. Need a good shoulder stretch as we come back. So alternating here. 
moving a little bit faster. Left hand can be on your hips, on your legs, wherever is most comfortable. Couple more on this side. Last time here holding it, and this time transition, coming up off of that back heel. Right arm extends overhead, left fingertips are reaching long. Inhale here, prepare. Lean yourself just a little bit forward as you ground into the earth with your left leg, super strong leg here as you lift, finding that balance. Right knee lifts up. And exhale, step it back. You don't have to step back all the way. And exhale, lifts you back up. Inhale here, a couple more times this side. Exhale. Alternating your arms as you do this. And last one, exhale. Very nice. Holding this pose here. Both fingertips reach towards the ground now and come into that warrior three transition. So really grounding into the earth with the left foot, lifting all the way up through the leg, long spine, bending at your hips, extending your right leg long, pressing out through your heel as if you're standing against the wall on this side. Really reaching long with your fingertips behind you. Feel free to have your hands on the wall or a chair if you need. And from here, exhale, fingertips come onto the earth, folding over that left leg. Right leg is still extended in the air for one more breath. Then bending your left knee, right foot makes its way towards the earth. Come onto a forward fold this side. From here, walk yourself forward. Back to that wide leg forward fold. Inhale here, prepare long spine. Exhale, folding towards the earth. And finding that first edge of stretch for you, wherever that may be. If you want to take it a little bit deeper in the inner thighs, you can even bend one knee and then the other. Taking a moment for some ninja lunges here. And then back to center and walk, or heel toe, I should say, your feet back to center, bending your knees here, grounding into the earth, strong feet into the earth, lifting up all the way along your spine, all those deep core muscles, inhale to the ceiling, exhale, hands come back to heart center. Very nice. All right, we have one last balance challenge here. We're going to come back into that tree pose position, but we'll do some movement with our tree. So grounding to the earth with your right foot, lifting up tall, extending through the crown of your head, bringing your left foot to whichever placement is going to be best for you. See if you can hold it for just a moment here. Now I want you to extend your arms out tall, woo, fun balance, and take your foot off. Now from here, have a yogi's choice move. Uh, moment of movement. See if you can just kind of move around and dance your tree. Really challenging your balance. All the stabilizer muscles in your feet and your ankles. Even working your knee. Whatever movement you want to do to test your balance. Have fun with it. Then come back to your tree pose for a few more breaths. Fun challenge, right? All right, we've got two sides, so gently release that. Grounding into the earth with your left foot. Lifting up tall through your spine, right leg lifts. Find where you want your right foot planted for your tree. Hold it for just a moment as you gather that balance. Your tree branches or your arms extend. Right leg comes off, or right foot I should say, comes off of your leg and find your dancing tree pose. So have fun with this. I know it's goofy, I know it's silly, but it is good for you. So have fun. And you know what? If you fall or you need to put your foot down, hey, whatever, make it part of the dance. That is totally A-OK. -okay. And once you feel like you've challenged your balance enough and had enough fun, 
Ooh, you can see, look, wibbling and wobbling all over the place. You can bring your right foot back to your leg. Taking just a couple of moments here to find that balance again. And gently releasing that. This time you're gonna inhale, extend up. Exhale back to your forward fold. Finding the edge of stretch for your legs. They're probably quite a bit more open than they were before. Bending your right knee, extending your left arm towards the sky. Stretching the side of your leg a bit more. You can even rotate the palm behind you and drop it behind your back if you want to open your shoulders more. Coming back to the forward fold and switch sides. So left knee bends, right knee is straighter, whatever that means for you. Right arm extends to the sky. You can try that arm bind on this side if it felt good. Reaching back up. Now from here, another kind of fun, funky transition. Come onto your toes. I want you to bend your knees. I'll turn to the side so you can see it. And just hug your knees into your chest, stretching the bottom of your feet. Stretching your toes. We, of course, challenged our feet a lot with all of that balancing. So it's nice to give them some stretching and some loving. And then just coming to sit Walk yourself out onto your mat, coming into your final resting pose. You can windshield wiper your legs. That always feels nice at the end of a yoga practice. And from here, extending your feet out long, just sinking into the mat. And give yourself a mental high five for doing all of that balance challenge. Balance work is not easy. You really have to cultivate strength from your deep center, your deep core, really grounding into the earth. So it is very impressive that you went through that practice. I hope you had fun with it. I hope you continue to do that practice to challenge your balance more and more and get better and better. And remember, no power in the verse can stop you. So keep doing that practice. Keep getting your balance. Um, balance is associated with confidence apparently so I guess the better you can balance the more confident you are I don't know but have fun with it that's the important thing I do look forward to seeing you on the mat again here soon make sure you're subscribed to the YouTube channel that way you get notifications for the new videos and of course I have exclusive content for you on the League of 30 Yogis email list so make sure you check out the description below and get signed up there namaste